to see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Jaguars' offense really centered around his quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Right over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. One yard loss for the halfback. From midfield, second down. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle around the 39-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Here we go! He's at the 30. He makes his way to about the 28. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. Can't get away from the pressure. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's scrambling. Loose football. It's scooped up. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Around the 40-yard line. That's good for a of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. Nine. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. And he's taken down at about the 41. The halfback picks up a yard. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He gets hit out of bounds around the 42-yard line. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 26. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. There's a very impressive open field tackle. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That'll bring up second and 12. From the 17-yard line, it's second down. Good outside run there. Six, 
Touchdown, Tigers. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 62-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The score now, 7-0. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. Sends it out quick, intercepted. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corner. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20. Auburn is up by a touchdown. Down he goes at the 20. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. That was one number. Didn't want none of this. That brings up second and nine. Get you. Get you. Get you. White nine. Motion, motion, motion. Big opening. He's taken down around the nine yard line. Get him in the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 11. Got an opening. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled at about the nine yard line. That's a loss of about five. That play was sort of out of sync from the start. But you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get go. This should be an easy field goal. Auburn is hoping to make this a two score game. The kick is up, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. There. Just throws this one away. Second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Mike Farr! Mike Farr! And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the way. That makes it first and ten. Out of bounds at the 40-yard line. And he's going to 
come up with a sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. The defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. after positive yardage. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. <laughs> Booming kick. <laughs> Man, I'm not sure if the players on the return team are all on the same page there. They're set to go for another round. the catch and gets out of bounds. Throws and it's incomplete. We played one. Auburn in front, 10-0. That makes it second and 10. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He's to the 40. It's a fumble. Picks up the fumble. He's tackled at the 48. their own 48-yard line. It's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This is the ninth play of this drive. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Nice run there. Oh, 
That'll bring up second and three. He's to the 40. Makes it to the 44. That makes it first and 10. Pulls it in, and he could score. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Well, that's a big play by the offense. And I got to tell you, as a defense coordinator, you're blitzing, and you're taking some chances. And it's one thing to blitz and to get to the quarterback, and everybody high fives and gets excited. But if you blitz and you don't get home, as they say, which means hitting the quarterback, you're leaving your defensive backs one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if you don't get to that quarterback and you're facing a talented quarterback like this man right here, you're going to pay for it. They'll drop him for a loss. Third and nine. Ball on the 23-yard line. Complete. He's got room. He steps out at the 15-yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They'll work the left side. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. That makes it second and six. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle made at the 27. He gets rid of this one. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle at the 33-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Going long. And he holds it in. He's out of bounds at the 29. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That's good for a game of 18 yards. That makes it first and 10. They need to convert down here and end Green, their red zone Green, woes. Green, motion, motion. Check, check. Snake eyes. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. Yeah, baby. It's my boy. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he adds the extra point. The 
South Alabama. Gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Auburn is up by six. A gain of six. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He gets rid of this one. points here. They'll bring him down at the one. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Auburn up six. Took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he hits the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 75-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So the score now, 20-7. to seven. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. South Alabama has gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. That's a good gain of nine yards. That'll make it third and one. Here we go! Throws this one out to the right. And he's got it! The 10. Touchdown! He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So our score, 20 to 14. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. 
Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And down he goes to the 36-yard line. Auburn with a six-point lead. He heaves it deep. Almost picked off. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw. He sails it long. Quick strike, tight end, and that's a touchdown. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. The score now, 27-14. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Feeds it to the back. Makes it out to about the 33. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Green 88. Green 88. He gets sacked on the play. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 27-14, Tigers. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both offenses rolling at will in the first half. And as you watch these teams head to the locker room for halftime, there were some skill guys. That, that chest was puffed out a little bit more. They were kind of looking up in the stands and said, did you see what I just did? <laughs> yeah, see, ready to pad their stats, get some helmet stickers. Yeah, they're all excited. But I tell you what, that's the one thing that's hard about the game of football you see all the time is the momentum swings. Once you really get dialed in and once things start going your way, sometimes it's hard to stop it. And that's why you see runs on offense. And both offenses in great rhythm. I mean, they, they haven't had many negative plays. Everything's gone in the right direction. They're both performing at a high level. One of these defenses in the second half needs to step up, make some plays, get them out of their comfort zone a little bit. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. And he's tackled at the 20-yard line. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating. As a ball carrier, it's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page. And then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. Third down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 20. He airs it out. 
He's taken down at the 26-yard line. The option keeper goes for about a yard. Touchdown, Tigers. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought down at the 25-yard line. No game. That makes it second and ten. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. A little toss across the middle. They bring him down in the backfield. Up. They're coming after the kick. Oh, excellent hook. He makes it to the 38-yard line. The Jaguars staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. Hey, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Right around the 38-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That brings us third and ten. He wants it all going long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Fourth and ten. They'll bring him down at the 22. Oh, 
It was a quick three and out on their last possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Gets it out quickly. Inside the 30 to the 10. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. And that makes it three scoring tosses for him. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. South Alabama is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. We've got a flag down on the field. Might have been offside. Offside. Defense. They got across the line a bit too soon. Give the quarterback some credit here for using his cadence to draw the defense offsides. First and five. Ball on the 48. And he's tackled right away. Field. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. To about the 24 yard line. That's a great tackle at the 27 yard line. Loss of three yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 27 yard line. Second down. 50's the mic. 50's the mic. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Motion, motion, motion. Give to the tailback. Gets to about the 24 yard line. Gaining three yards. Third down. Deep ball, laying it out there. No, incomplete. Great hands there by the wide receiver. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't get a foot down in bounds. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers with a 13-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. The 
Gets up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Auburn ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think the great thing that he's been able to do is spread the football around. It's not just been one receiver. And when you can find more receivers, it makes it much easier to move the ball down the field. Right now, this guy is having one of those performances that makes this defense have to make some kind of adjustments because he's in a zone. And if you don't do anything to get him out of that zone, it's going to be a long day for this defense. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. First down, Grant. They'll bring him down at about the 37-yard line. First down. Check, check. What? What? Big dog. What? Big dog. What? 80. Check, check. Stingray. Hot. He wants it all. That tackle could have saved a very big play. That's a deep three for him. That makes it first and ten. Four down. My five, my five, my five. Here we go. Go, go, go. Gives it left side. Makes it to the 11. Complete and pushed out of bounds behind the line. Just throws this one away. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the six. And he's hit immediately. That makes us dirty. that takes the field on fourth down. They line up in the jumbo set. Touchdown, Jaguar. And they're looking to get two points here. six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown. Drive. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. After a decent run up the gut. That's good for a game. That'll make it second and four. Three down, three down. Hey, check, 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 check. Safety creep. He's at the 30. He makes his way to about the 28. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28. Just under three to go in regulation. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Auburn! He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a quick three play 45 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. This senior quarterback put on a good show, Kirk. Well, he knows this system so well. So no matter what defense you throw at him, he's going to do a good job of reading the defense and putting the ball where it needs to be to be able to move the ball downfield. And this is just one of those strong performances by a quarterback. But let's not forget, he's not doing it alone. His wide receivers have come up big as well, and they made a lot of good catches to be able to help him out and come up with some big plays.
Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. He's got 100 yards in the game now. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. Aaron and out long. And it's caught. And he's taken down at the 11. It's going to be tough for this team, obviously, to get back into this football game. But I just love to see the pride they're playing. They are determined to play into the final whistle, and they're not giving up. You hear that, kids? They're not giving up, and that's a key. Ready! Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. From the 11-yard line, second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Finds his receiver, touchdown. He's ringing up the points with all these touchdown throws. That's his fourth. All the hard work he puts in is finally paying off. It's been rewarded here today with some pretty good throws, leading to some remarkable touchdowns. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Taking the field again now is the offense. And I got to tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Got it, and brought down immediately. Number 12 makes the second goal at the 48 yard line. That makes it second. Here we go! Red 18! Red 18! Deep ball, laying it out there. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Almost intercepted in the end zone. And you can see he made a great move here, anticipating the football and came up with a big defensive play. From their own 48-yard line, it's third down. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he's immediately tackled. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That makes it second and eight. He's going to air it long. Got his receiver, touchdown. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. What an offensive flurry here in the fourth quarter, Herbie. Man, I can barely catch my breath. Neither one of these offenses can be stopped. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. Tailback brought down for a loss. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. And down he goes.
goes at the 44. And he gets a yard on the run. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Auburn holds a field goal lead. Touchback. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The Jaguars have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. He airs it out. This one will fall incomplete. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Mike five, Mike five. He's going to go for the home run. Can't connect. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Gets it. He's in space. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. 200 yards. 200 yards. Set. Wide 80. Wide hot. 80. Under heavy pressure. Just throws this one away. From their own 37-yard line. It's second down. Once it all, going deep, caught the 10. And it's a whole new ball game. The Jaguars knew they had a star quarterback. He came through for them in the clutch. And this defense knows how good this quarterback is. In fact, that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could. They weren't able to get home, leaving him plenty of time to make the throw, and he delivered when he needed to. And he hits the PAT. And with time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Auburn's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now, they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 34. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Both players were very aggressive in going after that ball. This could go either way. Pass interference. Offense. They'll give this one another try after Still the flag. Down. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third and long here. And for the defense, if they get a stop, they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. Late in the fourth quarter in a one possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's gonna have it and who won't? We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Well, the Tigers using their third and final timeout. South Alabama holds a four-point lead. 
He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. The Jaguars know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.